right, good morning everybody. Ulster's outside here doing something a little different today. I'm going to prepare my mason bees to put them outside. It's a little late. We have a late spring here in the northwest, but I can't really wait any longer. It's getting towards the end of April and they're in hibernation, but they're living off their body fat and I really need to get them out. Hopefully things will go well. So this is all the ones I harvested from last year. This is the first time I've done the harvesting. Normally I just leave them out, but I had enough that uh, I can be able to harvest them. I'm going to give some away, so I want to make sure I set enough aside um, to make sure I got the right ratio between the males and females. So what I'm going to do right now is try to separate enough out and know what I got, and I'm going to put them out in my backyard in two batches, one this week and one next week, just in case something goes wrong this week, birds get to them, when whatever, and make sure I don't lose them all at one time. So this will be... Kind of put them in the bin. I got I got my bees here. I've got a bin that I'm gonna put them into and separate them out, and we'll see what we got. Okay, let's open these up here and take a look at what we got. Now this is the, these are the cocoons. They've been in the refrigerator, and what I want to do is separate them out. And according to what I've been reading, the larger cocoons are the females, and then the smaller ones are the males. When we put them out, I want to put a ratio of about six males to four females. So that's when I want to make sure I get enough when I give them away. I'm giving enough right ratio out. So let's put some in my bin here so I can separate them. Give them a little ride here down here. Okay, you see, you've got quite a few of them. Hopefully, I'll get a good batch of them. Let's see if we can separate them out here. See if I get a see what they look like in there. Okay, there's some here that probably don't look real real good, but uh, you know, in comparison, it's pretty obvious that which ones are the big ones and which ones are the little ones. So I'm just going to separate through them and see what I can get here. All the while I'm out in the garage trying to keep them cool enough, I don't really want them hatching out here. Or in the house, that's for sure. Really don't know how long it takes. Um, kind of putting the smaller ones on this side, and what I perceive as being the bigger ones over here. And normally, one of the ones I put out back, I'll just kind of grab about half of them and put them out, and I'll take you out back and show you my. A bee house and then I have some other ones I won't be able to show you I might be able to climb up and give you a little bit of a peek but some up under my rafters <clears throat> that I left out over the winter because I didn't want to for it being the first time I'd done this I didn't want to commit everything I had to to uh, doing this just in case I did something dumb and killed them all at least I got a few out front all right well I'm just going to go ahead and continue sorting these and we'll be back all right we got our bees already. I have them in my high-tech bee deployment device, which is a cut-down Starbucks cup. Take a walk out back and uh, get them deployed. So you can see you got uh, some plants in bloom, or apple trees. So here, just starting to starting to bud out. So I hope my time is just about right that they'll start blooming and about the bees start hatching. But we'll see. It's like I said, it's a really late spring, and we're just getting our just getting our onions in. And our garlic blueberries are just starting to come on so we'll see so here's our little block for our mason bees you see the block thing and then the, it's on a post on a house so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these bees so they can see them they're in there and then I'm gonna place them up at the top them all the way in the back in the back and next I'm going to uh, put some packing material out so don't take a chance of those blowing out I did have that happen once so I'm gonna take a moment here pack that up and I'll show you what it looks like all right we're outside up front just gonna give you a quick peek at my rafter my tubes up in the rafters for the mason bees let's see if I can get you up there
like we have the bees launching just a few hours later. They're hatching, starting to climb out. If you can't hear it, but you can, they're actually, you can hear them chewing their way out in there. Already had a, already had a few that have made their way out. It seems like we have success. outside. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.